Welcome to the seventh development vlog for Laser. This week I worked on environmental effects. This is the light rain setting. There's also a standard rain setting. And a heavy rain setting. Note that all these rain particles have collisions along the entire level. There's still some optimizations to be done as well, but it's within budget. Now let's talk about embers. In game, there are factories and foundries that spew out smoke and fire. In order to represent that type of environment, I've created these particles called embers, which burn and create smoke. The harder, later levels will use these particles. Now let's talk about wind. Wind is a force that affects everything in the game world, from the cloth that the hero can climb on, to the hero herself. It even affects the particles that are created, like smoke. Wind direction can be set or can alternate. The strength and duration of the wind can be changed as well, leading to many different types of weather in the level, including tornadoes. Now let's layer some of these effects together. This is embers, clouds, and wind in a dev level. I also worked on the hero this week. I added a landing animation, which plays when the hero lands on an object from a jump. Like that. I also worked on the dash state, which now spawns sparkle particles that float and fade away. I really like this effect, but I also think that it may need to match the hero's color, or fade from white to pink over time. We'll see. I added in these same spark particles to the hero's melee as well. It's a nice effect. I also polished the lasers and completely refactored how lasers and projectiles work in-game to speed them up. They now spawn those little fire and smoke particles when they hit stuff too. Now let's change it up and put on a fully auto weapon mod so we can shoot lasers faster. You can see she can jump a bit higher and doesn't fall as fast. That's due to the mods applied. 
certain combination of mods can make you feel like a superhero in-game. The goal of mine is to make the environment interactive, so little things like these burning pieces of debris will interact with the hero. Finally, I'd like to show the overworld again. Here's a war factory. It spews out smoke, fire, embers, and has a ton of wind and clouds. All environmental effects that were added this week. Here's a Sintel district with wind and embers and thick fog. These levels will use environmental effects developed this week as well. Even the downtown district, the central hub of the overworld, benefits from the work this week as it will use rain, fog, and clouds. Districts and levels that are inside can choose to turn all weather effects off. For example, the starting district, the storage facility is indoors. So in summary, I've built a flexible weather system that will allow me to do some really cool stuff in laser. I'm working hard and having a lot of fun combining all these different systems and code. There's some really wild stuff planned soon, and I hope it works out well. Alright, that's it for this week. See you next week. If you found this video interesting, consider subscribing to the channel and playing the free demo of Laser at laser.online.